challenging, exciting, and fun. In three words, uh, technical, organizational, social. Opto Electronics, technology, and uh, innovation. It's performance, coordination, shaping, analyzing, studying, and uh, creating. I'm working on the EarthCare mission. EarthCare <coughs> embarks three optical missions which were built in, in Europe. The objective of the mission is to take profiles through the atmosphere and it allows the scientists to take a microscopic measurement of what's happening in that profile. So then they can improve and perfect their models and this allows them to improve their numerical weather prediction and, and climate modeling. Ah. Of course Euclid, that's the one I'm uh, working uh, on since 2012. The idea here behind it is to observe the matter and, and how it's distributed in the universe to find discrepancies which would reveal the presence of dark matter and also give us some hints on uh, uh, dark energy. It would be the development of a very big uh, telescope with a very huge camera, big portion of many cameras uh, for uh, Plato. And studying the next generation of uh, uh, wind measurement uh, observation from space based on an innovative technology which are uh, LIDARs, laser-based instrument. Maybe I can speak a bit uh, about FLEX. Uh, FLEX is a spectroimager, so which will uh, check uh, component uh, on, uh, in, in the atmosphere and uh, trees. I think it's nice uh, to work here because it's very exciting, the topic obviously, that you work for something that eventually will fly. The diversity first. And I've been touching a lot of different fields, not only optics of course, but also a lot of hardware development, detectors. There's a very large range of topics I can work on. I can work on missions looking at the Earth, looking out to space, embarked on, on rovers, on space stations used by astronauts, a very large um, palette of things to work on. Then studying the mission from end to end, the diversity also of contacts, personal human contacts with different people, with different backgrounds, different nationalities. That's really thrilling and, uh, and really enjoying it. It is an extremely time-consuming job because we have a lot of interactions with lots of people, lots of traveling. When there are periods of uh, high stress and a lot of workload, obviously I, I don't like it particularly this, but it's manageable, so I think it's, it's fine. Sometimes the, the processes are a, a bit long uh, at ESA and uh, AV, but I think we can accommodate with that. And, uh, I was the payload manager for a small satellite looking after an optical payload on that small satellite. My background is optical engineering and also I am graduated in astrophysics uh, before joining uh, Industry First and then ESA in 2005. I had studied physics at university followed by a master's in spacecraft technology and satellite communications so you can see it's clear that I was always wanting to work in the space industry. I worked a bit more ten, than 10 years for Thales Alenia Space in south of France, uh, building mainly high resolution telescope and uh, spectro imager. And then, still with Thales, so I spent five years in addition in Munich uh, to build one of the instruments of, uh, of ESA, and then I joined ESA. My PhD is on optoelectronics, on uh, lasers and detectors. I went to Belgium where I worked in another institute for uh, research for seven years and this is where I started to work on space projects and I was collaborating with ESA at that time and eventually when there was an opening here I applied and then uh, I got hi uh, hired. I was not expecting to see and to be surrounded by a team of so many talented people of all ages, as I said, uh, and of so many nationalities. The open-minded people there. The multicultural, multicultural uh, environment of, uh, of ESA and also the huge importance of uh, social and connection between people. There is a lot of uh, freedom, I would say, in the activities you're doing and this, I think, is a very interesting for that. When I came to ESA, 
It was. It didn't have flexi time. It didn't have things like a crash. It, it wasn't very flexible. But that has changed in the years since I've been here. I've seen it change to its benefit a lot. There is a lot more diversity in male and female here now. There's a lot more opportunities. There's a lot more uh, ease of working because of flexi time. Teleworking during COVID has come in, of course. So it, it's become a lot easier to work here. I was mistaken me thinking that uh, yeah maybe here it's uh, very serious and everybody's uh, taking the job so seriously that you don't have fun which is not true I mean you can always have fun my, my best memory is still to come <laughs> which is which would be the launch of the Euclid mission I have good memories of launches and launch parties I have good memories of working on technologies in the lab and finally seeing that get up. So my life here is filled with good memories, really. One of my best achievements is for sure to help a small company to develop uh, their own optical system in order to characterize one of the instruments. And now, today, I can tell you that it's perfectly working. Maybe uh, to tell me about the weather in uh, in uh, Netherlands. Before COVID and the pandemic, I used to travel a lot, almost every week. That requires a lot of organization in your personal life. Yes, maybe I would like to know when I was a little bit younger that uh, young people have can have the opportunity to come here when they are young. Dare to apply, because if you don't apply, you will never have the chance. So go for it, to prepare well for the job and look what they're asking for, what the requirements are of the job that you're going to be asked to do. So basically do your research and, and know what it is you're, you're trying to get into. To be ready to, to work in an, an international environment and as well in a creative environment and uh, being curious. Ask a lot of questions, people you know might uh, know what are, what's happening at ESA. If you are beginners, if you are experienced, uh, experienced in uh, one special discipline or, or, or another, we are working on prototypes. So whatever is your experience, please uh, apply and join us here.